What do you want me to do? I want to do what you always do. What do you mean? Football Euro 2004. On tonight's show, we'll be meeting DJ Trevor Nelson and supermodel Jodie Kidd. We'll be recreating a record-breaking moment from a previous Holland-Germany clash. And we'll be saying a big hello to Ronaldo. Hello, I'm Ronaldo. <laughs> He's lost a bit of weight. Yeah, he is. <laughs> but first, a few things we noticed from watching the tournament so far. Zinedine Zidane must have been really excited to get those two late goals against England, but not as excited as he was to get the Man of the Match award. Over the moon. And news that Nicky Butt has been badly hurt in training may be very painful for him, but not as painful as when he gave birth to Roy Keane. That <laughs> 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 would be painful, wouldn't it? Yeah. Meanwhile, Italian fans will have been worried to see that at the Denmark game, their president, Silvio Berlusconi, was sitting with Dr. Evil. <laughs> <laughs> In other news, a man in hiding who took part in a documentary and was promised that his identity would be kept secret has complained that from some angles he might just be recognisable. <laughs> 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 Exciting. Yeah. Now, on the last show, Stato, we asked for um, fruit or vegetables who look like um, that look like footballers. Have we had any nice replies? Well, no fruit or vegetables, but uh, Simon Roberts from Manchester has written to tell us that he has a stain on his work toilet ceiling that looks just like Wayne Rooney. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it. it's, sort of, it's sort of Wayne peeping over a fence, isn't it? <laughs> Someone at a toilet seat. Stain Rooney. Stain Rooney. <laughs> Wayne Stain. Uh, it's not that clear, so what we've got here is a little flip chart. And uh, Frank, you're a bit of an artist. Why don't you draw in what Wayne oh, well, this, What I think he's getting at, this yeah. guy, is that that's kind of um, Wayne's ears. Yeah. And there's the hair up there. Yeah. And if you take in the little Rooney piece. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, I see. Oh, it's like quick on the draw, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that, and there's the collars on his England shirt. Uh, yeah. that, that's Wayne, I think. Okay. Well, that's excellent, but let's have a look at how Wayne would actually look on that ceiling. <laughs> that's perfect. So, if you do have any other <laughs> interesting football things... Do you think you, you, think you pissed all over his shoes looking at that? <laughs> oh, no. Hey, Wayne. Uh, if you do have any other interesting football things you want to send us, you can find out how by going to our website. And here's the address. <laughs> yeah, all right, yeah, yeah, I think, I think they've read it now. Do you know, since we've been, we were on, we've been off the air for a long time, about six years, and actually since we've been off the air, there has actually been a German version of this show, hasn't there? There has, and as, as Germany played tonight, yeah, we, we thought we'd have a look at it. It's, um, it's, it's a German fantasy football, it's quite similar in some ways, and it's called Eins Null. <laughs> Fußballshow im deutschen Fernsehen 1 0. Ja. Ja. It's odd, isn't it? I, I'm quite happy with my bloke. Yeah, Your I'm bloke. 
looked a bit like, like yes, mine's bad, bald. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. Bald, and it looked like me with a critical illness. It did, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's really weird, you know, seeing yourself, uh, sort of another version of yourself on television. Yeah, but not as weird as this. Fancy for come, ladies and gentlemen, that's the specs. That's amazing. Specs. <laughs> I thought there was another one. Specs is quite a good name for it, though. Yeah. And funny enough, when we were watching the game tonight, we had a vision of what this show would look like in 20 years' time. <laughs> <laughs> I've aged quite well, I think. You've dyed your hair. I've yeah, put a bit of light on it after. It's been fine. So we've got, actually got, we've got some German fans in the audience tonight, haven't we? Are you, are you here, German fans? Well, I'll put your hands up. Yeah, yeah, blimey, look at that. <laughs> yes, thank you very much. <laughs> yes. Oh, come oh, on. God. Yes, come right. on. <laughs> Five Germans lined up as a Jew, I'm already frightened. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's all right. They don't speak very good English. Yeah. You're the one who said, put your hands off. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so, welcome. Now, so, um, now, you support a club called... Göttingen 05. Yeah, what happened to that club? Uh, our club, it's got financial problems and got closed. Yeah, so what, what do you do now? Yeah, we founded a group, yeah. uh, the fans with other club, you can hire us. You can hire you to, to support, support your team. To support any team? Right, right, okay. Right, okay. Well, what we'd like you to do <laughs> is support England. <laughs> Go back to Germany, um, and then uh, and how many countries have said that over the years? <laughs> <laughs> we, want you, we want you to go back to Germany, and on the night of the Switzerland game, which is um, Thursday, isn't yeah. it? we want you to go to a pub, to a bar in Germany, and support England for the whole of the game. Yeah. Will you do that? Yes. Oh, yes. Right, right, only 90 right. minutes. Oh. Yes. 90 minutes. Uh, well, no injury right. time as well. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, we know what, happened, know what happened in the last game. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so do, would you like to do a bit of England chanting, just yeah. to get in the mood? OK. OK. Oh, they're on. England, 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 for you to take with you and uh, <laughs> oh but a modeling from Stato it's like oh look at that it's like it's like side of the century Stato actually while we're here Stato we've been uh, taking the piss out of Ron Atkinson a lot on this series what, what do you feel about that I, I, I feel like Ron was unlucky do you yeah oh my god we'll be taking off the air <laughs> <laughs> I feel sorry for him actually do you? yeah yes. I do yeah okay shouldn't have said what he did but I hope he comes back Hmm, okay. Well, you might be waiting a long time, but never mind. <laughs> it was a strange thing, though, because football people are usually much more sensitive about those kind of issues. I want you to pour the tea while I make a, a quick phone call to an old pal of mine, a Michael Jackson look-alike, Frank Bruno. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's a great show. That's actually from a show. <laughs> <laughs> can, on bed, on bed. <laughs> That's actually from a show, a real show that went out in uh, the mid '80s, uh, called Greavesy's Gaff, in which Greavesy used to make tea, didn't he, for star names? It's a sort names. of a chat show, yeah. I say star names, mainly Nina Mishkov and Schnorbitz, but well. um, <laughs> that's the kind of people who were on it. Yeah, he, he sang his own uh, theme tune. Yeah, he did sing his own theme tune for the show, and th basically that show is going to provide the material for our new series, Greavesy's Gaffs. I've seen good times and bad, <laughs> mate. Am I glad to be brewing up for star names? Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, number one, Jimmy's guests are so obscure, even he doesn't know what they do. I'm going to go out and find who it is. <laughs> it's Blind Date Girl, Hilary O'Neill from. <laughs> Copy <Can't we> Cat! <get? laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, and now, a strange tale of mystery and the supernatural. Can you hold the torch under my face? Yes, yeah, here we go. Yeah, there you go. Look OK. Up. It was Sunday, June the 13th. Why are you talking like that? You know, Michael Winner. OK. In many ways... <laughs> calm down, dear. Just... <laughs> just another day. And then this happened. Oh, Barchetta denied him! 
Yeah, well, that was the penalty that uh, David Beckham missed. Now, actually, what the point about this is, we wanted to show you the ref during that game, who was this bloke, Marcus Merck, uh, a German, in fact. And um, there was another piece of bad luck, of course, that Beckham had when he broke his metatarsal bone just before the World Cup. Have a look at this. There he goes down. And I wonder who the ref was in that game. Yes, it's Marcus Merck, right? Now, Again. Yeah. Now, clearly, Marcus has got some sort of hoodoo on Beckham, doesn't he? Yeah. I wonder just how far back that goes. Well, there's this incident from a Champions League game in 2000 where Beckham actually got fined four grand for spitting at, at the referee, Herr Merck. And if you look, there are already signs that Beckham was getting a bit fed up with him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, the guests will be here in a minute, you know. Have we got time for a quick look at who's on the managerial merry-go-round? I'll go on, then. Could be the guest. Who could it be? Well, I've no idea. <laughs> it's blind date girl Hillary O'Neill. <laughs> no, it isn't. It's Trevor Nelson and Jody Kidd. Oh. <laughs> Introduce you to my friend. Thanks very much for coming, Jodie, Trevor. Um, yes, what was your experience of watching the France England game? Oh, it was great. Was it? What a fun, actually. Did you miss Fantastic. the end? Yeah. 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 It was absolutely wonderful. No, where, where seriously did you watch depressing. It? Where did you watch it? I watched it um, actually uh, in a polo club. In a polo club? Yeah, I know. Not the greatest, <laughs> not the greatest place, but was I just it? played a game yeah. and uh, it wow. was the nearest television. Did you get what? hammered? <laughs> no, yeah, I didn't actually. Were I did, there, but we weren't getting it. Wow. Were there any there. French polo players there? No, they left. All right, so they didn't kick off people hitting each other with no, mallets. No, it was so. pretty. They would have. They, they were slightly worried, so that's why they left. Because yeah. you know. And you were actually there, Trevor. Yeah, you? I went. Yeah, I went. It's fantastic. But I mean, it was fantastic in one way. It was a great atmosphere. It was an incredible game. It was the most tense I've ever been at a football match. But do you think any England fans actually wrong. left before the end, thinking, "Oh, we won. I'll miss the traffic." Actually, no, no. What happened was when Heskey did the foul. Yeah. Everybody went. Uh, then they scored, and people started walking towards the exit as if it was 1-1, one, one, or uh, right. we're not going to win this, obviously. And before they got to the bottom of the stairs, it was like 2-1. Yeah. And I just tapped my mate and said, before, when it was 1-0 to England with three minutes ago, I said, you know what, it's one of them games when, where were you, were you here, you know, whatever, yeah. And he was going, yeah. And then they scored, and oh. I went, and then they scored when I said, it's still one of them games oh. where everyone's going to say, <laughs> <laughs> we were there. Yes. It, I think it's going to be more remembered for us losing than winning, funny enough. Yeah, funny enough, I yeah. think you're right. Yeah, about I, don't that. Think <laughs> <laughs> I can't see it being remembered for us winning at all. It was agony, yeah. David, it was agony. Except people who left early and then got run over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which in some ways would have been luckier. Yeah. Uh, in case people are really down about the England France game, don't forget there was one moment to cheer the hearts of the nation. What was that? Yeah. It's <laughs> Quite a good tournament so far. It started badly, but if you, have you been watching the tournament generally? Yeah. What do you yeah. think? All right, that's good. No, I think the Greece Greece set it off nicely. Yeah. Beating, beating, you know, Portugal. <laughs> that was quite. <laughs> no. well. I mean, we were in Porto <laughs> at the time, and the <laughs> Portuguese. I mean, they they were a shell shock, man. I yeah. mean, they were pretty much like. You were at all the games, Trevor. Well, I was <laughs> hanging. You know, I was I was about. No, I'm I, working. I'm like, crikey. I, I went all the get games. More time off work. But on the way to the to the um, France England game, we had to drive from Porto to Lisbon, which is about 300 kilometres. It's like a four hour drive. So we're driving. I said to the boys like. Why don't we nip off at a, near, a town nearby and just, you know, catch a bite to eat? And it was a place called Lira or something like that. 
We turned off, and there were about 50,000 Croatians and Swiss drunk oh. in the square as we walked through with England shirts. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot. It was, it was, it was, we didn't eat there. Just <laughs> <laughs> we, we moved on. I didn't even piss there. I moved on. <laughs> it was in Laria, wasn't it? We were wondering yeah, 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 who, who would be the Laria manager. Didn't really work that one, but, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> just say you were one. Yeah, that's what I think, yeah. <laughs> I thought there was a lovely bit of skill tonight. Uh, I don't know if you saw this. A bloke beat two men and then did a lovely little back heel. So I understand, Jody, that you got into football at the 1998 World, uh, World yeah. Cup final. Is that right? Yeah, you I had you to, were sort of part was, of the final. I was on the pitch an hour before kickoff. They did um, a big Yves Saint Laurent fashion show. Yeah, we were and there actually. To, yeah, we saw you. Were you there? Did yeah. you see it? Because yeah. the only place they didn't air it was England, so no right. one really believes I was there. You were there as well. I, weren't you? I didn't see it. Oh, oh. God. <laughs> I was over an hour though. No, but we like, came no. down the tunnel yeah. and we had both teams on either side, and you had like 200 models getting totally overexcited. It was <laughs> incredible. There were 200 sort of supermodels yeah. walking all over the pitch. All over the pitch, oh, and yes. then with high heels on, making a complete mess of the field. Oh, yeah. it could have been one of the great roasts of all time. It could. <laughs> Clear. Can we ask you about fa fashion? I mean, do, do you wear a football shirt from time to time? Yeah, I do. I've got my own, my own, because I support Liverpool. Yeah. And I've got my own. Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I've got my own shirt. So I've got a number 10 shirt with kid on the top. So I wear it all the time. Right. Okay. Have we noticed there's something about like the England shirt that we noticed? Yeah. Well, yeah, I don't uh, when England haven't worn the red one yet in this tournament, but... No, uh, I, like, I like the white. I don't like the red so much. Well, the red, do you notice it's got this um, star. A, the a star. star above the badge? Do you yeah. know what that signifies? 66. Yeah, it's yeah, one the World one, Cup. The, how many Each World team's Cups allowed to have one star for each World Cup. Brazil's is like a big star. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, like, it's, like it's turned stars into the Australian eyes. flag. Mm. Yeah, yeah. There's <laughs> a German one you can see. It's got uh, three stars on it there. Yeah, we saw it. But we, we noticed that... You notice we've left the label on this, because <laughs> we're, we're going to take this one back. Send it back. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Denmark was yeah, Denmark, Denmark. They had a star on their shirt. And they've never won the World Cup. Seen this? They've never won the World Cup. They've won one European Championship. So basically, oh, yeah, look. they're just putting anything on. Uruguay apparently have put two stars on for winning the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing you know, England will put some on because some of their players have won the Intertoto Cup. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a terrible, terrible con. And yeah. uh, in Africa, the African teams, mm. they put them on for the Africa's Cup. And I don't know if you know, but Cameroon, they brought out a kit that was an all-in-one kit, yeah. oh, not yeah. a separate shirt. Do you, oh, yeah. uh, uh, Do you know about this stuff? Yeah, I think uh, you. you <laughs> Shirt, right? I know it's Mexican actually, look, and their sponsor Bimbo. is Bimbo. <laughs> <laughs> but the great Athletica thing is, Bimbo. on the back, their sponsor is Victoria. This is a Peruvian shirt for a team, Deportivo. <laughs> a real and, team. and now it's time for Phoenix <laughs> from the Flame. Oh. Phoenix from the Flames, Phoenix from the Flames, so, Johan, you scored the fastest ever goal in a World Cup final, a penalty in 1974 against West Germany. Yes, well, uh, we kicked off, and before the Germans had even touched the ball, Cruyff was running at the defence. Oh, Holland's still had the ball, Cruyff going all the way out, he's over on down on the back, stands yet, Taylor points to the spot, Bloody boot, brought him down. Anyway, there was a British referee in that game, Jack Taylor. Yes, it's a little known fact about Jack Taylor, that he pioneered robotic dancing. <laughs> <laughs> so I stepped up to take the penalty. Oh, could you feel the tension in the ground? Well, actually, our fans seem surprisingly relaxed. Hmm, why are Dutch fans always so relaxed?
Look, I'm not having you suggest that Dutch people are all drug users. Well, sorry, Johan, but we heard rumours on the day of that World Cup final some Dutch fans had hidden hard drugs in the ground. Are we going to do this penalty or not? OK, OK, look, um, I'll be Seth Meyer and you, you be Johan Nieskins. What's this? Play you, Jones. Jack Taylor points to the spot. We're in the first minute of the game. Johan Cruyff brought down. Nyskins has the ball. There was no doubt about that one. Nothing. Nyskins has the ball. There was no doubt about that one. Nyskins. What do they call him? Thanks, Jody. Thanks, Trevor. It's great. Enjoy the rest of the tournament. Oh, Who's that? What on earth could this be? Quick, oh, Dave. Oh, 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 it's Jerry Francis. Oh, 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 I sure have. <laughs> There's a brand new talk, but it's not very clear. It's all about fashion. <laughs> <laughs> People from good homes are talking this year. <laughs> All about fashion. <laughs> fashion, turn to the left. Fashion, turn to the right. Fashion, <laughs> fashion. I'm sorry about that. We are the team squad and we're coming to town. Be 